These Ugh. are the top 10 wide receivers, um, according to, again, executives, players, coaches, and scouts. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because we just talked last week about top 10 wide receivers, who we have in the top 10, who we don't have in the top 10. This isn't Madden ratings. So get that out of your head. I know Almond Rossi and Brown was 19th on Madden. This is actually, you know, much more, uh, you take this more uh, into consideration than Madden. I'll say that. Uh, but there are some things I do have a problem with uh, with this list. But Sam, you see the list. No Amon Ross and Brown. Not even an honorable mention. Not even an honorable mention. Mm. Before I, you know, completely go off, what say you, Sam Flannel? Your reaction to this list? How dirty did they do Amon Ross St. Brown here? I mean, they did Amon Ross St. Brown extremely dirty, especially not even to have him on the honorable mention. Because for me, I have him in my top 10, but I have him at number 10. If they would have at least put him in the honorable mention, I wouldn't see it as just this blatant slap in the face. But the fact that they didn't even do that is just insane to me. And before I give you a couple of numbers, would we all agree in this room that availability is as important of a skill as you can have as an NFL football player? Yes. yes, 100%, because yes. if you're not available yep. and you have talent, you can't show the talent. All right, so given that context, I am going to read you quite a, f quite a few numbers that prove that Amon Ross St. Brown should absolutely be ranked higher. So of the top 10 receivers that they listed, Amon Ross St. Brown had more receptions last season than Devontae Adams, Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase, DK Metcalf, and Terry McLaurin. That's pretty good, I would say. That is really good. He had more receiving yards than DK Metcalf, Jamar Chase, and Cooper Cup. The reason I mentioned health, because Jamar Chase and Cooper Cup obviously weren't healthy for a lot of the year. But in terms of the honorable mentions that they list, Amon Ross St. Brown had more receptions than any single of the honorable mentions. Any single one of them, and he's not even on that list. He had more receiving yards last season than Mike Evans, Debo Samuel, T. Higgins, and Garrett Wilson. He actually had less receiving yards than Jalen Waddell and Devontae Smith, but this is where you have to include some context because mm -hmm. Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddell got to play with true, they were number two wide receivers that got to play across from two true number ones who Tyreek Hill was their fourth rated and AJ Brown was the seventh rated and those were the number ones in the systems in which Jalen Waddell and Devontae Smith played and when you look at what Amon Ross St. Brown did last season for the Lions he was their receiving core